welcome to my vlog. Today I'm in Pembrokeshire. I've come down to Crinklehaven and Church Door Cove, which is just over this, the side there behind you. I've taken the photographs this morning already, but the waves were crashing around and the tide was in, so it's quite noisy down there. So I've taken the photographs and filmed it later on because I've done a bit of filming when I was down at the bottom, but because it's quite loud, I don't know if you could hear me okay, so. I'm doing the rest of the filming up on the top of the cliffs so hopefully it's a bit quieter up here and you should be able to hear me. I've been here for about an hour now and I've had to move back because the tide's coming in but the photograph that I took earlier there's a few rocks underneath here you can see the main one back there and I had that one in my foreground with a few small ones around it and I took a long exposure of about 30 seconds to a minute and that gave me a nice blurry water when the, the tide was coming in and going out so there's like a I might get washed away in a minute I've gone for a nice composition with the church doors in the background and the rocks in the foreground and as the tide comes in, the waves are crashing over the rocks and giving some movement to the image. I've taken it at, I think it's F9, which gave me about 30 seconds, so the, the waves rolling in and out should give a nice misty effect and it should hopefully be a nice ethereal image. I found this really nice composition with some of the rocks here. Um, Unfortunately, I don't know what type of rocks they are, but if you can hear me, the tide is coming in now, so I'm going to try and take some photos before it's too late. Uh, it's my father's birthday this weekend, so the whole family have come down to Tenby, which is probably a couple of miles away from here. So I thought I'd take the opportunity while they're all asleep in bed to come out and get some nice photographs in the morning. So. I went onto Google Maps and researched the area and I found this location called Church Door Cove. And I looked at, the, looked at a few photographs on Google Maps, looked at the satellite images and things like that to see the location. And I pre-visualised this shot of having nice clouds in the sky, nice rocks and the waves in the foreground. And I wanted to get here before dawn so it's nice and dark so I can get a long exposure and blur the water, blur the clouds, and have a nice ethereal shot with the church doors in the background. Church Door Cove is named after the rocks in the background over there. And what it is, the rocks jut out into the sea and part of the, the rocks have collapsed, creating a little archway. And then the archway is quite narrow and tall, so it looks like a church door. There are a couple of problems with this cove. When it's high tide, the water comes in completely, so it blocks you off, so I can't get any more photographs today. Also, the cliffs either side are quite steep, so I was unable to get any sunrise shots from this point, but I'd already seen that on Google Maps. I could see how high the cliffs were, so I could see the sun would be rising in the east, which is over there, and it won't be hitting the cliffs until it's too high and we would have lost the colour of the light. So what I planned to do was get a nice photograph before the sun rose in this cove and then go up to the top on the cliffs and get another photograph looking over at the cliffs from the top when the sun hits the top of the, the cliff. So that should be a nice, um, more of a, a grand vista shot, but this is more of a, an intimate shot. So I got here about an hour before sunrise and the sun rose about half an hour ago. So I've got my shots down the bottom and I've now moved up to the top. And fortunately there's a break in the clouds and the weather forecast wasn't accurate today, which is excellent because it's worked out in my favor. 
So we haven't got much cloud, but there's some lovely cloud in the background. It's quite clear over where the sun is. So we've had some lovely light hitting the tops of the, the field and the sides of the cliffs. So I've come up here and got a nice foreground of these beautiful rocks with the bays in the background and the nice cliffs in the distance. So I'll talk you through the composition I took up here. I took a couple of photographs, one in vertical, one in panorama and one landscape. And I've used these nice foreground rocks that are leading into the photograph. And I've got the church door in the cliff down there and the coves in the background. Um, I used F11, ISO 100, and that gave me around about a quarter of a second. So when I was taking the panorama, because I was using quite a wide angle lens to include the foreground and the background, I took about 15 shots, very small movements in between, so that way there isn't a big parallax difference between the foreground and the background, so it will stitch together quite nicely in Lightroom. I have had a very successful morning today, even though the weather forecast said it was going to be cloudy and we weren't going to get much of a sunrise, I took the chance anyway. I'm down in Pembrokeshire coast and when we don't come here often, I live about two and a half, three hours away, so we're just down for the weekend, I might as well make the most of it. I got out of bed and I'm so glad I did. I've got such a beautiful photograph from the cliffs up here. I hope I've got a good one down the bottom, it's difficult to tell because it's very dark, but I'm, I'm happy with the shots and I'm pleased that I got out of bed this morning. If you've enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up and make a comment. I always love reading your comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload videos. I do hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.